Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Stephen Hodge of Hartford. Well, hello and God bless you. This is Pastor Stephen Hodge serving as the senior pastor of Grace Worship Center Church in the great capital city of Hartford, Connecticut. We've started dealing with the subject of brilliance. Now, here's the context. We're really looking at the quality of life, that you and I have a desire to live a quality of life, but we must know what it takes to possess the quality of life. We want it, we desire it, but many times our circumstance has a way of thwarting it. I want to show you from the Scripture the key to having a good quality life. Daniel chapter 12, verse 3 is our key verse from the Message Translation, and it says, Men and women who have lived wisely and well will shine brilliantly like the cloudless star-strewn night skies, and those who put others on the right path to life will glow like stars forever. Okay, so then let's kind of tap into that now. The idea, again, is you and I possessing, laying hold of quality of life. Listen, at the end of days, I don't want a family member to have to make a decision over me based upon quality of life in terms of my health, whether they're going to pull the plug or not. Pardon me for being so graphic, but that's real life, you know? Sometimes we leave it into the hands of family members to make a decision based upon the quality of life that we've had, and yet that remains. I want to live a quality of life, listen, so that at the end, no one has to make a decision like that, that you and I have a right to live a quality life now. Come on, I want you to say now. (laughs) That's right. And so now in the book of Daniel, we see that those who live wisely and well will shine brilliantly. So we're dealing with this subject matter, talking about this whole idea of brilliance and brightness, that it actually makes reference to wisdom because brilliance speaks of a surpassing brightness that eclipses all other shining lights. The Bible speaks of the glory of God. It's talking about the splendor and brightness unmatched by any, and it shines brighter than the sun itself, okay? Its brilliance eclipses all other created light bearers. Now, how does this come about? In the context of our Scripture text, we see that it is the extraordinary power of wisdom. That's what this whole idea of brilliance is referring to, wisdom living wisely and well. How does this apply to you and I? Figuratively, it speaks of many paths. Watch this. It speaks of many paths that can be taken for which there is a greater path out of all of the paths that will be the most productive and life-changing path that one should take. What is that called? What is that path called? It is called wisdom. In other words, that there are several paths of life that you and I can take But the brightest path is called wisdom. Wisdom is the lighted path that leads to your best life. Walking in wisdom is seeing things from God's perspective and then obeying him. It leads to abundant life. God's word promises that wisdom brings us joy health, it brings us long life, it brings us promotion, peace, honor, and riches. That's what the wise man says in the book of Proverbs. So if you and I can find wisdom, come on, it will lead us to abundant life. It will lead us to having a quality life. So then wisdom, let's look at it even further. The Bible says that wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom, and with all of your getting, get understanding. That's in the book of Proverbs chapter 4, verses 4 through 7. Now, it says that wisdom is the principal thing. What is principal? What does that mean? Principal refers to first in rank, priority, and here's the one that I really love as it relates to it being the principal thing, that wisdom really is the master key to life. That's right, the master key to life. You can have a key. Watch this. You can have keys to different offices within a building, But there is a master key that can be had that will unlock every office in that building because it is a master key. And I want to share with you that wisdom, my friend, really is the master key to abundant life. Hey, got to go. 
We'll pick it up tomorrow, okay? Tune in tomorrow and we'll get back into it. God bless you and may grace be unto you. You've been listening to Pastor Stephen Hodge of Hartford, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.